in Rahim Rahimi's lab. They are connecting state-of-the-art electronics to the world of medicine. The future of electronics is actually in the field of medicine. You can connect an electrode. But there is a gap. Medicine is slow to embrace new technology. After all, lives are on the line. And this LED is being lit by virtue of ultrasound vibrations. Exactly. Although our devices and smartphones, everything has become smarter and more intelligent, this sector hasn't changed that much. So there is a lot of room for improvement. They didn't bond very well. You have Take to the humble bandage, for example. These orange spots that you're seeing, these are oxygen-sensitive dyes. Um, so when it's in contact with the wound, the fluorescent kind of property of these patches will change. If the dye fluorescence indicates a lack of oxygen, the smart bandage pumps in some hydrogen peroxide. The mechanical design is, is mm. fine. They are also hoping to measure bacteria. This film is made of a sugar that bacteria like to eat. As the film starts degrading, so there's less film, yeah. there's a decrease in the resistance. The more they eat, the easier it is for electricity to flow through, and that can signal the need for antibiotics. Instead of having like a continuous release of antibiotics, we have a system that it delivers the antibiotics as needed. It sounds costly, but chronic wound care is already a multi-billion dollar problem. Rahim is being thrifty by printing the sensors and microchannels on patches to deliver the medications. The attached electronics would be reusable. We estimated that the patches will cost a few cents, actually. The entire material that we're using in the process will be less than a dollar. So this unit, that's the whole goal. It's not supposed to make it practical at the end. We have not a fancy device, but something that at the end could be translational.